In this video, I'm going to install Valet or Valet, or I don't know how you pronounce it, but uh, it's a small web server that you can run Laravel on. You can also run uh, WordPress on it if you want. So head on to Laravel's homepage and look for the documentation. And here you can see development environments. You can use Homestead or you can use Valet. If you use Homestead, you need to have a virtual machine, and that is, you need to download something like a virtual box and Vagrant, and then install Homestead, and it, it requires a lot of memory. And Valet is an alternative to that, which has a very small footprint. I think it's about seven megabytes of RAM, which is nothing. And that's absolutely wonderful if you have an older Mac computer with not so much memory on. So let's click Valet here. Or valet. So here you can read uh, a bit about Valet and these are the things that it supports. It supports Laravel and WordPress and Cake PHP and a lot of other stuff. So Valet or Homestead, here it explains why you should use Valet or Homestead. So here installation uh, documentation. We have already installed Homebrew and we have installed the latest version of PHP 7 and we have also installed uh, MariaDB. So now let's just install Valet. Composer Global require Laravel Valet or Valet. Open up your terminal in your home directory, paste that in. It starts to download and install. Uh, not install, but download the installer package. So now let's see what to do next. Just run valid install. New terminal home directory. I think it's right. Valid command not found. All right. So I think this is due to that we don't have the path set for composer. Make sure the composer vendor bin directory is in your system path. So we can print the system path if we want. That is echo. Path, and we can see we have a path to user local opt php7 slash bin user local bin user bin bin user s bin and s bin we don't have the path to um, composer so let's fix that So we need to create a path for this directory and we need to do that in our dot bash underscore profile uh, file. So uh, let's open up the terminal uh, and we list um, all thing in our home directory and looking for a dot bash profile uh, file and we can see that that doesn't really exist here so we can create that by writing touch and uh, tilde for home directory bash profile and this will create the file so ls-la and we should now see it here it is bash profile so this is the file that we should edit. So to do this, we can open up a text editor and write the export path for our um, new path. So let's open up terminal here uh, or uh, Atom. Uh, 
and this open up my atom editor and let's edit this batch profile and as it's now it's totally empty so the thing you should write here is export path and the, the path to the vendor bin and we save this file and what we need to do now is to go and um, source this and the file is called bash underscore profile so if we now write valid install it works okay and now it's starting to install it you can see here that something is happening So valid is installed successfully. So you can test this uh, according to this documentation by doing a ping to whatever dot dev and it should bring you this um, IP number. So ping full bar and yes, it's ping 127.0.0.1. Let's break out of this, control Z. So now uh, Valet should be installed and ready to use. And you don't need to start it uh, when you turn on your computer or something. It's always in the background. So this was uh, how to install Valet. See you in the next video.